suggestion you would like to give to the authors for high quality manuscripts? Uh, actually, the articles, uh, there are two things in the articles. So first, the content. The content means when the author is writing their things, content is very important. When suppose certain persons, engineering person or medical person writing on the something, suppose the uh, ophthalmologist doctor writing on the something glaucoma, on glaucoma, they should write the, the good content. Means they should write uh, content in a proper way, whatever guidelines they have provided for writing the articles. There are different guidelines present in the uh, different uh, website. Uh, for the across one of the name the across guidelines uh, for research paper one very very common guideline is IMRD introductions method and uh, uh, result and discussion this is a simple guideline and uh, across the one of the guidelines concert is the one of the guidelines there are different guidelines you will find on the different editorial uh, of the journals so you should follow that guidelines for writing the articles means you should present the content in that way so whatever guidelines they have provided for writing the articles. So when when uh, in the writing the guide in the writing the articles, uh, uh, you should write the first introductions why you are doing research, what are the uh, data you have collected, and at the end you uh, conclude the articles by discussions and the conclusions. At the end you should write the references because in the journals we actually write about the current happenings in the uh, disciplines. So you uh, you are. Uh, References should be very much current uh, research. Whatever research has been published in the current year, you should add those research also in your articles. So content is very important. The second is with language. When you are writing, you're, when you are conveying the knowledge to the audience, your language should be very much smooth and when you are using technical terms, try to elaborate those terms in the articles and uh, give proper, you should follow the international guideline for the different uh, nomenclatures, uh, whether you are using the units for the different uh, unit systems. Sometimes we find the unit system, they are not following, following the guidelines of the international uh, unit and measurement systems. That uh, Sometimes they also write the articles uh, and they will mention them in feet. So as for the scientific concern, they should write in the whatever meter in the meter systems. They should write the meter system, not in the feet. Feet is not the uh, proper scientific guide system that uh, yes. they should use in the, in the articles. And in the same, different disciplines and different guidelines, international guidelines, they should follow the, all those guidelines. So after, when they have completed the writing the article, they should read articles first, they, his, his self, his or herself, and then see if they should give the articles to some of the colleagues, so they should read the, and the articles and they give suggestions. Before submitting the article to any journals, they should read one or two, two or three times his own articles and then also review internally by their senior colleagues and by students before submitting the articles. In that way, the whatever errors in, the, in his articles are present, they will be removed and uh, once he submits the articles, his article will be smoothly reviewed and uh, will not got caught in the plagiarisms and published very easily in the any journals. And you will not take any suggestion from the I think that when we submit the articles, the reviewer give lots of suggestions. Mm. Yes. This revision needed, that uh, should be deleted, this work has not done in the articles. So before submitting, you should check the, the content level because the content is very important uh, uh, at the reviewing level. Reviewers go through the articles and they actually check the content of the articles. If the content, they, they will find the content is not up to date, they are not the same and they are not uh, properly presented. So their article must be rejected or may get suggestion from the reviewer that they, you, should, you should revise your articles and then resubmit the articles. To avoid all those things, you should read the article two or three times and same simultaneously. Make those article by some other persons in his organization of same disciplines. So, and then second part is language. Language is a very important part because in the publishing house you will find the language services are there. If you are not able to write the articles in, the, in his language, certain uh, people have not good English writing skills, so they can uh, take help from the different uh, uh, English language services yes. to write the article, but the content will be very important, I just have said, I explained everything, content cannot be retained by the different English language services persons, the yes. content, is, content is very important, you have to add the content, updated one and very uh, properly written. We will add, if the language is not proper, we can improve the language, but we cannot improve the content. The content is very important, I think. 
for these type of informative videos do subscribe the channel knowledge hit the bell icon to never miss an update thank you